So hi guys, welcome back to my channel. 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 My name is Kendra and you're watching KP Camp. To my channel my name is Kendra and you're watching KP Cam. okay y'all so before we even get started I just want to shout out my new people go ahead and subscribe to my channel the year is 2021 and it is June okay so I'm coming up on a year on my business definitely y'all please support my business um I'll have everything linked down in the description I also wanted to slip in here that I will be at a pop-up shop in Richmond Virginia July 10th Okay, y'all so let's just go ahead and jump right into this video i got my little notes right here okay this is this is this is what a doctor look like child to me okay so let's just go ahead and get to it um if y'all want me to make like an adulting 101 series please let me know because i can like highlight different topics that i think is important well y'all just comment down below what's important to y'all child which i want to know this is my message to all my college students that in college right now, living y'all best life, okay? And um, I guess you're watching this video because you're interested to know like how it is after you graduate. Okay, first off, let me tell you right now that adulting is ghetto. Like I know y'all heard that. I know y'all heard that. I know y'all heard that adulting is ghetto, but hmm, the way I thought college life was ghetto, adulting just doesn't even equate like that joint was trash but there are little perks to being an adult but there's a lot of yeah hmm okay so first i have on my list is job field okay y'all so once you graduate college there's always this like big question what are you gonna do next what do you plan on doing next are you going to grad school are you gonna start working where are you gonna work what job are you gonna get what's your position <sighs> shout out to all my guys and gals that get their little opportunities right while they're in college or the last semester they get college career and all that shout out to y'all because that is a blessing like i don't think y'all understand how much a blessing is to have a job straight out of college or even if you had an internship or something to go to straight out of college like you graduated and you had something lined up that's what i like to say you had it lined up that's a blessing because that was not me okay in my last video i told you how stressed and drained and just all over the place i was because i did not have a job though you know a job shouldn't be the only thing to focus on y'all but let's be real we're an adult you need to make money okay i'm not i don't i hate to say the whole like oh money rules the world but y'all money is very very important you need money to live point blank period you need money to live did i lie did i And that's where the get apart come in because you got to work to get money to live. Well, just as I thought, trash. That's the harsh reality about it. Um, I wanted to go into my job field. I did. I majored in architectural engineering and I wanted to go into that field. But then I had an epiphany and I wanted to go into entrepreneurship. So because my business isn't going to be able to fund my life um i realized i should stick with my major so um i just want to say that don't get caught up on feeling like you have to find a job in your field okay um do one do what makes you happy to go where the opportunities are okay you never know where life can take you okay where you're starting might not be where you ended but it's definitely where you need to be praying your decisions 
pray on the opportunities that come forth to you and just just stay steadfast y'all um just be patient in your waiting um and if you have a job take advantage of where you're at okay take advantage of the opportunity take advantage of your situation feel blessed feel thankful of where you're at if you're happy that is amazing like that is a true blessing to be happy at wherever you're at of wherever you're at if you're not figure it out i hate to be so harsh y'all but honestly like you have to do what you have to do because your mental health should come first so do what you have to do to make it work next on my list is goals okay y'all so i have a lot of goals okay and i still have a lot of goals and i'm gonna just let you know right now that there are some that have not been achieved okay um i think it's really important to set goals out for yourself definitely feel like you're always reaching for something but definitely feel satisfied or at peace at your situation that you're at okay let's not say get stagnant at your situation but feel peace at where you're at as well as always have somewhere that you're shooting for i wanted to point out that i have some goals that i didn't achieve because that is confirmation for you that though you may not have reached your goal this year or next year or 10 years down the line you will get it okay manifest your future and it will come to pass but it's just not gonna come overnight okay and we all know that we all might have worked for a goal like you may have been working 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 to get to where you want to go and you still have not got there I promise you, if you keep believing, keep believing. That's the biggest thing. Keep believing and manifest that you're going to get it and you will get it. Which brings me to my next thing. God's timing. I don't want to get too religious, but y'all, the one thing I can attest to that I learned 2020 is to stay on God's timing, okay? You may have this vision. I promise you, you can see this vision clear as day. And you put a time on it. If it is not God's timing, I'm sorry. You're just not going to get there. So I wholeheartedly believe that your time is your time. I know in my last video, I said that, you know, I just felt so discouraged about not finding a job. And I had to wait. I had to be patient. I had to be patient. And my time came. But it came when I was literally at the bottom. When I felt like I was at my lowest point. That is when they change. That is when they shift. That is when it's turned around for me. Okay? So when you feel like you at your lowest point and you can't go any lower, just know that you are two steps from your breakthrough. That's why I'm moving that because I'm not finna start preaching. I'm about to start doing a lap around this room, Jesus, because honestly, I, I was very, y'all know, I was very, mm -mm. I was very discouraged, didn't believe it. I didn't want to have to settle. Like, I just did not want to have to settle in time after time after time. Every time I try to settle, it just, it killed me. It killed me. Okay. I absolutely hate it. Like it's a different from disliking something and you having to deal with it. No, honey. I hated my situation. I tried to dip and dabble in places and it never worked. So never settle. Go after your dreams. Just remember that God's timing is the right timing. Every time you think something is not going in your timeline, just remember when it happens, you're going to be more grateful for it. You're going to be more grateful for it. Literally, your bad times make you appreciate your good times even more. But I'm going to start preaching. Next on my list is mental health, y'all. Okay, so... Let me get a little closer. Your mental health should be the first thing that is priority in your life. Okay? If you stay... I, I would definitely recommend staying grounded in some type of spiritual grounding, okay? 
mine personally is God. I, I, I don't want to force anything on anybody, but definitely be grounded and then strive for your mental health to be your top priority. Okay. Pray for stability. Okay. Pray for endurance. Pray for peace. Pray that your mental health is stays positive. Pray for that. Pray for that. As well as do the things that you need to do to better yourself. Personally, I feel like I had fell into a depression at a certain point. I know it can come in waves as well as in different ways when it comes to different people. Personally, I wanted to sleep all day. My motivation was at an all time low and I didn't understand what was going on with me, which is important. I go back to learning yourself, y'all. Learn yourself. This is the time. I know you learn a lot about yourself in college. Like you learn a lot about yourself in college, but this is the time to really hean in on your own because it's at this point, it's going to force you. Okay. You need to know who you are, who you are and why you do things because you want to grow you're getting too old to settle for your old ways message personally i went ahead and signed up for therapy um it's not something that is like a must like i don't need to go to therapy but i mentally i mentally feel like i'm not all the way there um I, it's kind of hard to explain my mental um, but just know that I want to be the best me that I can be. So if I need help, I'm going to get help. And that's exactly what I'm doing. I want to be able to, hmm, I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to say too much, but you know, when you're trying to do different things in life, you're trying to progress, you're trying to get new networking opportunities. Um, you're trying to get a new job. You're trying to get a new man. You're trying to get a new woman. Um, you're trying to, uh, get a new place to stay. You know, you're just trying to really get this new, 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 new. Everything that you're doing is so new to cope or to wrap your mind around all that you need to be stable you need to know who you are like you need to know what you like what you don't like what's your flaws what's your what's the pros about you what's your strong suits you need to know all of that you need to know all of that and that takes time that takes so much time but i, I promise you if you really 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 want to get that growth that you've been waiting for you really want to feel like a stable adult. You really want to feel like you're actually living to your fullest potential. You have to learn yourself. And from then, you will know how to deal with your mental health. You will know how to deal with depression when it comes because you know that was your trigger. You know how to deal with getting out of rut because you know what was your problem. Personally, I noticed that mine is i may i can be a homebody i notice when i stay out of social environments for a long period of time i get in my mind okay i get in my mind and i discourage myself so i know i need to make sure that i'm still staying social but also making sure i keep time for myself i also i also can stretch myself too thin and lose myself in a mix and then i'm burning out and then i don't know why i'm so stressed and i don't know why i'm so sad all of a sudden okay but i know that i thrive on productivity so when i'm not productive i feel like ish okay i feel like i'm not doing enough and then that forces that that pushes me to do less pushes me to procrastinate so then I'm back in this cycle of like you're not, then now you're really not doing nothing. Now you're really not nothing. Now you're really not doing anything. So that's just my personal thing. So I know what I need to do. I know I need to stay productive. I know I need to keep doing stuff that keeps my mind grounded. I know I need to actually go outside and speak to people. I know I need to actually interact with other people. And that's getting better and better. Thank the Lord Jesus that the pandemic is slowly but surely letting up. Okay, so my next thing is enjoy college. This is more so to my students that are still in college, y'all. Enjoy, 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 enjoy college. Okay, whatever that means to you, do it. 
okay if that means partying every single night do it if that means you know reading 10 books do it if that means going to every event you can go to do it. if that means joining every organization on the campus do it because honestly you're not gonna get that time back okay there was a point in my transition where i just i just felt like the change came so fast that i was not ready i was not ready to let go college i wasn't ready to let go of that lifestyle i missed it so much like ooh, now something just came over me um but i just i just really felt really really disconnected i felt out of place like I just really, really miss my college experience. I miss the college life. I miss my friends. I miss the environment that I was in. I miss the freedom. Like, I miss everything about it. Okay, so my advice is to enjoy it while you're there. Because just like this pandemic came in and swept away all of the fun, that can happen any day, which is an even more push to say live like truly truly live and take advantage of your college life because you're not gonna get opportunities like that like you know if you went to college you know what i mean there is a lifestyle there is a lifestyle about college that you just cannot do as an adult i'm just being real i'm just being real so my advice is to enjoy college i know people said that said it to you all the time but honestly get that in the back of your brain whenever you decide to do something if somebody's like, oh, yeah, let's go out to eat. And you like, mm, I don't know if I want to. You know, you just being like, oh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Just go. Okay, just go. Just go do it. Okay? Okay, and my last little piece that I wanted to mention is live now and plan for the future. One of my biggest things that I want to advise anybody that is just graduating college and you're trying to get into that trying just a point of being an adult literally just live in the now okay we all have goals we all are thinking about the future we're always thinking about like what can we do next like what am i gonna be doing next year like honestly before i started being an adult i was not thinking about what i was what i would do two three years down the line i was just trying to get to the next semester chat i wasn't thinking about what i was gonna do in the next two three years or what i was gonna do in the next five ten years i was thinking about what i'm gonna do for summer break what am i gonna do for winter break you know but like as you get older you're gonna start thinking about years and years beyond and that is great it's great to plan like everybody is gonna start coming at you about health insurance start coming at you about retirement they're gonna start talking to you about your savings. They're gonna start talking about um, you paying off your loans. Like, everybody's gonna come up to you about, you need to prepare for your future, prepare for your future, prepare for your future. Yes, by all means, prepare for your future. But let's be real. You need to live right now, honey. You need to live right now. You, you doing all that planning, you might not even see that money. Let's be real, you might not see tomorrow. And I hate to make it so dark and bleak, but honestly, you may not see tomorrow, so though all of that is great like nobody wants to be stressing about money at 70 years old okay or even 60 nobody wants to be stressing about money at 60 years old you're getting too old to feel like you're not stable that's something you feeling right now in your 20s you don't want to feel that at 60 something i definitely get that but live in the now i felt so restricted for so long thinking about how i think now i just was always like uh, i can't uh, i can't i can't i can't at this point i need to live my life i need to live my life man and whatever that means to you i'm not going to sit here and be like oh you haven't been out in three weeks what are you doing life is passing you by that is not all that life is about and it definitely isn't what you might think life is about whatever you want to get out of life do it now don't say like oh i'm gonna start traveling at 30. oh i'm gonna start reading books at 40. no 
no do what you want to do right now or at least line yourself up and i don't mean years down the line lining yourself up to do something line yourself up make your goals in a good amount of time where you're not constantly just waiting to do something you're not constantly doing something else to do something later yes work hard play hard but let's be real you need to fit it all in like i don't know what to tell you but just try to put it all in i'll give an example for myself um because lately i've been trying to plan on going on trips like that's just something i want to do that's something i feel like is part of living life because there's so many opportunities when you leave out of your environment you learn so much not just about the environment about you, you learn about yourself as well change creates growth okay changing something about something creates growth so just changing your environment is going to make you grow okay so there's no limits never limit yourself never ever 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 limit yourself you are capable of doing anything that you want to do i will keep preaching that because if you don't believe it how is it going to happen? How is it going to happen? If you don't think you can achieve anything, how is it going to happen? So, yeah. Just manifest y'all dreams, y'all. Do what y'all want to do. Write down, like, if anything, write down what you want to do in life. And then start figuring out how you're going to do it. Literally. Okay, yeah. I mean, I know it might sound cliche. Like, oh, like, make a bucket list. Like, oh, no brainer. Like, okay, but, like, for real, make your bucket list. Do what you want to do. Like, it don't have to be something big. You can start off small and then work up to something big. But you don't ever want to live your life and feel unfulfilled. That is just so sad and bleak. Nobody want to be sad. Okay, so, this is my bucket list, y'all. It's a little ghetto. That's why y'all, that's why y'all don't need to see it. It's a little ghetto. But, like, it's little stuff. Like, I even wrote, I, like, I wrote on here, I wanted to do brunch. Because I had never did brunch before. Did it. I wanted to take a pole dancing class. It's just something I wanted to do. Did it. I wanted to do a cabin trip. Did it. Wanted to do a sip and paint. Did it. Wanted to go to Atlanta. I got places I want to go. I, w I wanted to go to Atlanta. Went to Atlanta. So, you know, just do what you want to do. Get out of life what you want to get out of life. That's all I got to say on that. Um, I wish y'all the best of luck in y'all journeys. Comment down below if you either just graduated college or you're in college and you thought this was helpful or, you know, we could just chop it up in the comments, you know what I'm saying? So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I don't know what you're doing, sis, but I know you want to see more of me. And make sure I put on post notifications so you get notified when I post. I will be working on the Atlanta vlog soon, child. So y'all can get that footage. Without further ado, I will see you guys in the next one. Do sis. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hey, go watch that video, ho. Go, oh, sorry.